morning, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? I just woke up, so forgive me. <laughs> Got my cup of java. Um, hope you have a cup of java. To, ja, bleh. Yeah, mouth's not working yet. Hope you have a cup of java too, because um, this might be a little bit longer. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a SOS, if, if you will, um, to you guys, uh, saying that I needed some Moody Mosaic yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um, in Canada, we don't have Hobby Lobby, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, to finish the project that uh, I was working on. And... Uh, my my good friend Chris, who is on this channel, uh, reached out to me and said, I have some. So Chris has been a long time yarn bee and uh, she's helped me out quite a few times. And she has um, graciously sent me gifts over the years. <laughs> so when I when she said yeah I have some oh and by the way I've, I've got some other stuff for you too um yeah so she sent this big box uh to me and I opened it up and I haven't gone through it or anything but when I opened it up it kind of went poof and yeah <laughs> Just looking in there going, oh, okay, so I wanted to go through it with you today. Um, yeah, <laughs> wow, alrighty, so here we go. <sighs> On the top, <laughs> oh, I have uh, Karen Crystal Cakes. I had these um, when they first came out, and I thought they were awesome. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, stunning. Uh, the This color is, I don't even know if these are, these. I think these are discontinued. But then they're coming out with a lot of Karen stuff that used to be discontinued, so I'm not sure. Uh, this is called Hummingbird. It's a medium four, 64% acrylic, 24% polyester, 7% nylon, and 5% metallic. It's just, oh, it's stunning. I love that so much. I wonder how this would go on a knitting machine. Because I know that this does not have any stretch to it. Um... I've made a hat with this before and there's absolutely no stretch whatsoever. <laughs> so I wonder, I wonder what it would do on the knitting machine. That's interesting. I'll have to think about that. Uh, I don't even know where to put all this because I've got all this yarnage happening here. Okay, we'll just put it there for now. Uh, oh, she sent me two of them. Yay! Oh, what else? Um, then she sent me this one. This one I have not had. This is the crystal cake as well. This color is something I can't pronounce. Um, am am amaranth. Am I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, maybe not. No. It's A M A R A N T H. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a card. <laughs> Thinking of you. That's pretty. 
Sandy, hope you enjoy all these and get some great use with them for your shop crocheting. I've been trying to destash some of my mine, so this helps us both. Have fun and make sure to share what you make with us all. Of course. <laughs> Love your friend, Chris. <laughs> of course I will. Oh my. Oh, okay. Oh, not only did she send me some Moody Mosaic, she sent me another color of the print that I absolutely love. This is the print. This color. Oh, I absolutely love this color. I love all of the prints. Like the, the I love this yarn print. The I love this yarn uh, ombres. Um, I just, mm, they're my favorite, favorite yarns. This color is, I should know this off by heart, aqua black. I really want to make another sweater out of this stuff. Um, oh, she gave me, oh, oh, there's a few in here. Oh, it's two more. Oh, sorry. You see in the top of my head. <laughs> There's three. Hmm. I wonder if three would be enough. If I used it as an accent. Hmm. Good question. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. She sent me color on my halo. This is one of my one of my one of my all time favorites. I love latte cakes, and when they came out with colorama halo, which is very oh latte cake. <laughs> we have a latte cake in here too. Now, if you look, they're very similar. Latte cake has a lot has more fluff. And the halo is a little more controlled, but they are very similar. Um, which one do I prefer? I don't know because they're both wonderful. They, they both have their own, um, character that is wonderful. Um, the Colorama halo the the halo on it isn't as strong but it it's it's a, a neater um it's really hard to explain it's more compact the halo is more compact so when you're you use it it doesn't show up as much but it's very soft Whereas with the latte cake, the latte does show up, like especially like after you've worked it um, and then you put it in the dryer, the halo will puff out and you will see it. Whereas with this, it doesn't, but the softness is there. So I love them both. They both have their, their positives. So this color is... Rose Garden. And this color is uh, Velvet Teal. I love them both. Ugh. She knows me so well. Like she's, she's sent me yarns that she knows that I'm going to love. Um, okay. Now she sent me Bernat Baby Velvet, because she knows that I was doing the Amigurumi, which I'm not, still not sure what I'm going to do with that. I might, I might do um, Amigurumi for next year and do them in craft fairs or something, because if I put them in my shop, I won't be able to get my insurance, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Ugh. 100% polyester. 
It's a medium four and it's called Blue Skies. Yes, it is. Mm. Such a pretty color. And then she sent me another one. Look at this. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's coming out really bright. Uh, it's kind of like that. This one is Peach Parfait. It's darker than that, but it's beautiful. I've got the light, like, right above me. Oh, and she sent me another one. This one is Burgundy Plum. She knows that I love this color. Oh, stunning. This is a very royal color. They have another one that's like purple. Oh, it's very royal. Very, very royal. Oh my goodness, there's a lot in here. <laughs> okay. Um, she sent me some gopher faux. And this is red panda. Oops. such a pretty color. Oh, she sent me two. Oh. Like, isn't that a gorgeous color? And then, oh, oh, look at this. She sent me, oh, hang on. Oh, holy cow. Is this one of your favorite colors too? <laughs> you sent me quite a bit of this color in different yarns. Um, this is, where is it here? Do, 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 do. Oh, soft and shiny. Uh, do they still have soft and shiny in Michaels? I think they do. Isn't that beautiful? This color is, where's the, burgundy. <laughs> she sent me three. And then she sent me three uh, of the Velvet Plus in this color. This would make a beautiful red panda. Oh, hmm. I'll have to look for a, for a pattern for that. It's Burgundy Plum. There's three of them. Oh, that's a long way down. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then she sent me one of the Velvet Plum, Velvet Plum, Velvet Plus, and this color is Seafoam. Oh, beautiful. And then she sent me two of the gray. Vapor gray. Vapor gray? Yeah, vapor gray. Oh, so pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh, oh, I was going to get some of this. Um, she sent me some Scrubology cotton. Now, this is the kind of stuff that we get here. Um... This is the the type of car, um, scrubby stuff that we get that I don't use. But I did see a pattern um, where the lady mixed this with cotton and put it on her 22 pin um, Addy machine and made scrubbies. Now, I've been wanting to try that for quite some time now. But I didn't have any of this. So um, now I can try it. That's exciting. Yes. But she did send me my absolute all-time favorite scrubby yarn. And I've talked about this for quite some time. Um, that I, I wish we could get this in Canada. Because I just love it. Uh, um, this is the, in my opinion, 
the best scrubby yarn around and you can't get it in Canada. Um, I can't say enough about this scrubby yarn. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just absolutely in love with that yarn. <laughs> oh, and then she sent, she sent some, a little gift pack here. Oops. Let's see. This is from Knit Crate. Oh, it must have come in a Knit Crate box. Oh, it's a pad of paper. I could always use that. And then she sent me this. Ooh! Oh, my hands don't work in the morning. Ugh. This is Yarnology. And this, I think, is a of course, my hands don't work. I can't get it open. Ah, I'm going to have to get George to open it. But I believe that there's darning needles in here. But I can't open it. <laughs> I'm going to have to get George to, to do it when he gets home. Because my hands, in the morning, my hands do not work. Um, yeah. So, thank you. And then there's just some little stuff in here. What is this? Oh. Trust your soul. You found a heart. It's yours to take. And then you're supposed to take a photo of it and tell them where it went. Isn't that cute? Oh, oops. And then it's uh, a little bag. What the heck is in here? Oh, look! <gasps> oh, there's stitch markers in here. It's like a little mermaid tail. <laughs> oh, look. Isn't that pretty? It's like a, a mermaid tail. Oh, that's so cute. And then a snowflake stitch marker. And a donut. Donut. Oop. Donut. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Chris. I will get use out of those for sure. I wish I could get this open, but... Uh, yeah, so this is... It's, um... It's got... Your, their Facebook and everything on here. It's called the Peyton's Heart Project. Yeah. So you take a picture and you tell them where it where it went to. So that's cool. I love that. What a great idea. That is so adorable. So that's everything, you guys. I'll get George to open that later. Oh. So thank you so much, Chris. Um, I will definitely get use out of this. Uh, oh, and I will definitely <clears throat> show you guys what I make. Um, a, a most of this probably won't get used until the new year. I mean, if you could see this room, oh my good Lord. I'm going to be so happy when I get into my new shop and I can lay everything out because this is not working for me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Chris. I love you. You know that. And girl, I hope you're feeling better today. I hope you're having a good day. Um, Chris has a lot of health issues uh, and it's, it's, you know, she's always going through it. 
So simply send out your yearny love to her because um, she she could use it. Um, but yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up. And uh, yeah, because <laughs> I'm just so not awake. Not at all. It's funny because I a lady came in the shop yesterday and she was looking at the, I had two scrubbies left I think and she's like oh wow like these are really neat so I was explaining to her that the yarn comes from the states and everything and uh, and I was thinking geez I gotta make some more of those and <laughs> all of a sudden I get a, a a skein of it so that worked out quite well. <laughs> But anyway, okay, guys, I gotta go finish my coffee, wake up, get ready for work, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I love you all. Thank you, Chris. Mwah. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.